what did you do to convince people that uh, your mother's products or your company's products were better than the competitors? Well, two things. Firstly, she created the idea of, of giving gifts away. At the beginning, uh, she would give, uh, send out a, car, a postcard, say, bring this card into the such and such a store and we'll give you a free lipstick or we'll give you a free this or free that. Then she built it up later on to say, we'll give you, if you buy something, we'll give you a gift. That, that, that was magic in those days. It was really magic. Now, when I tried to, uh, when I uh, became, I took over the sales area. In fact, as I took over everything, I remember visiting the, the buyer of a major department store. He wouldn't look at me. He kept his back to me, cleaning his nails. And finally, I said to him, I think I can do great things for you. I can, I can make you a lot of money. And he turned around and said, how can you do that? And then we were off and running from there. So I was able to think of the ideas necessary to make a hit and make a big splash, no matter where we were. So at what point did you realize the company was actually gonna be successful in the sense that it was gonna survive? Did you always think it was gonna become a gigantic global company or did you have offers to, to sell the company at some point when it's small and you thought of not doing that? Well, my mother came home one day uh, when I was in high school saying, Charles Revson offered me a million dollars, but I turned it down because I wanted to have the business for you. So I was very grateful for that. Uh, I knew that we were en route and were out of the woods at, at the beginning of 1970. And by that time, the company was in demand and I was then able to turn around and focus on what we could do in the future. Was there something about the products that were better than the others? Did you, did you try to make yours a higher level, higher cost kind of product so that gives it more prestige? They, they were much better products. They were expensive and very, very, very good for the customers. Uh, look, at the beginning, we never advertised. What did we do? We gave out samples and gave out samples that were large enough. If you, if you give a customer a sample of, of a product and they like it and they come back and buy it again and again and again, that's what builds the business. So it was years before we even started to advertise. 